Okay, bud. Here we are where we left off, about to do our maneuver node to change our orbit from this, this direction to this direction. I'll be back after that long, boring burn is all done. See you in a minute. And we've done it. Check it out, bud. We're now going this way. All right. Now I've got to uh, adjust our orbital inclination here. That's the amount that uh, we're at an angle. I didn't quite make it. I have 252 delta V left to get my orbit right and rendezvous with the space station. Can we do it? I know you're bored out of your skull. So, hmm, I guess if it's successful, you're going to see me docking. All right? And uh, no sense in boring you with the rest of it. I'll be back. Yee We did it. We have a rendezvous. Look at how much fuel is left. We are almost empty. But we've done it. I am so amazed. Um, I'll line us up on the docking port and uh, we'll come on in. I think we're going to have to aim for... I don't know if it's going to be the top or the bottom. You'll see when we get there. Okay, buddy. We're coming in on the top one. And there it is. Come on, buddy. Take it. Dock. Dock. There. We're docked. We're back. Wow. That is amazing. I got some fuel tanks to reload and uh, let's I'll show you I'll do one and I'll show you how we do it you just right click on that we'll right click on that and we'll go in and in that is pumping fuel from the big tank into the big tank here, and then I've got to do all those around there. So when he's refueled, I'll be back. Okay, bud. Everybody's back inside our Kerbal container. That was Bob and Furzel who took that almost disastrous trip. So who's going to be next? We know that, um, let's see, when I say that was Bob and Furzel, and we know that Bill and Jeb have already gone. So, who are we going to send for the next one? Uh, let's go outside. There we are. We're all docked. He's all The Eagle is completely refueled and ready to go again. Although, he does have a broken landing gear. Um, hold on. I'm catching a call. Hey, what do you know? I just got a phone call from somebody named Ben. And I love talking to Ben. So, we've got to pick another anomaly. And at this point, it's like anomaly, 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 anomaly. Orbital maneuvers, anomaly, anomaly. Good thing I'm cutting out so much. I've got a new trick to uh, to try on this one. So, as far as saving some Delta V to get to the South Pole, let's take a look at our map. And this time, boom, much quicker. Um, I did not need that. Go away. Okay. I think we're going to try for not this one. We're going to try for this one because that's going to be in the sunlight right now. 
as close to sunlight as we're gonna get. And this one's more in the dark, and when we're going down, down here, then um, we really need it to be in the light. But as you see, we got a flag there and a flag there, and now we've got a flag way up here, anomaly number three. So I guess this one's gonna, we're gonna shoot for anomaly number four down here. Um, I gotta find the coordinates of that and then get ready. So, um, uh, when we're ready to leave the space station, I'll be back. Okay, buddy. I found the anomaly. I marked it on the map with Mechjab. It's way down here. And look at those mountains. Oh, this one's gonna be scary. It's just not very much in the light. I've got lights on the lander, though. So, boy, anything could happen. So I'm going to go into a polar orbit before we even do anything. And, uh... Hmm. All right. Who's going to go with us? Now, we know that Bob and Furzel, um went last time. You know what? Burgard, what, what is he? He's a pilot. Neilgar is a pilot. We're going to send those two. Burgard and Neilgar. I'm going to load them up. I'll be right back. Okay, there's Burgard. Burgard and Nilgar are in the Aquarius. But, uh, oy vey. So let's um, get ready. They're going to uh, do some checking out. And uh, I got some special maneuvers to do. I'll be back when we're ready. Okay, guys, I know it doesn't look like I just did much, but I got ready to go. Gonna have to trust me on that one, bud. And ready? Come on. No. Get there. There we go. Undock. Let's turn on the RCS. Let's pull the thing up there and what do we do? Oh, cap locks. There we go. Well, that's it. Burgard and Neilgard. They are off on a most dangerous, dangerous landing. Alright, I got some orbital maneuvers to do real quick. And I'll be back. Okay, we're on our way. I've got some special maneuvers to do. I thought you might like to see the space station falling away. As we're going to be going really fast. We're taking about uh, 170 Delta V to do something special. Hopefully hopefully save a lot of fuel by doing this. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, but here we are a long ways up from the moon because when you're way out here you can go into a polar orbit. Whoa! <laughs> Very, uh, with um, very little delta V. There's just one problem. It took us, what was that? It took us a long time to get out here. So maybe now the anomaly is going to be in the dark. I hope not. But we'll see. Why can't I kill that? Hmm. There. Yes. We come we came way out here. Because you're going very slow out here. 
and that makes it easy to change from this way to this way. Now, I'm going to bring that periaps in. So that's what I'm going to do. What? One day? Are you kidding me? Oh, we're coming over the top. So. Wow, 15 minutes? Wow. Four minutes. We want to bring that periaps down nice and close. And then when we get down here, wow, 32, huh? I don't quite need it. Actually, that's not such a bad idea. Whoops. that low. All right. That'll do. How much is that going to take us? 38. You see? Nothing. But by the time we get over here, he's going to be in the dark. Which means we might just have to stay in orbit for a while. See, now from here, it'll be easy to bend and go that way without much to do. All right. I'll let you know. Okay. Here we are flying over the South Pole. Under the South Pole, I guess you'd say. We're not going to land on this one, on this particular uh, orbit. As you see, our spot it's quite in the dark. Let's get a little bit closer. And I'm going to look at it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Very mountainous, very rugged, very very difficult to land in and that's why we made sure that Burgard Nilgar Nilgar yeah boy those are the strangest names we made sure that um, they brought lots of snacks because they're gonna stay in this orbit until it comes back around in the light which is gonna be a few days Hopefully, that's going to happen. Hopefully, it will get light enough out. Now, these guys did bring lights, and in case you wanted to look at them, well, there they are. Those are going to help them to land, even if it's super dark. I wonder if they should have been pointed down a little bit more. I don't know. That anomaly is... I don't know. Which way are we looking? I think it's that. Wow, I can't see. Oh, I see how we have to look. Yeah, it's over here someplace. Oh, look how dark it is. So, they're going to orbit. Wow, that's going to be quite a challenge. I'm going to try that out. Um, see if we can get them to get a little bit more light on the subject. And if that happens, um, well, look, we're out of video time. So that's what is going to happen. When it's light out, we're going to go land. Until next time, buddy. See you later.